Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your mat and welcome to your practice. Today's practice, we will need a block and possibly a strap, which you can use a tie or a belt, or if you actually have a strap, that'd be good too. So you can collect those things and then restart the segment. Okay, let's all start by just getting very comfortable. You may want to be hips on heels, totally lying down, or in a comfortable parasana, easy pose. Your option, just getting very, very comfortable. And we want our spine to be very straight. I just want to say thanks to um, Epidemic Sounds. Um, that's the music we're listening to today. And hopefully, it will continue and I won't have to keep switching to uh, fill the dead space. So. <laughs> all right, now that we're all in position and we have everything, let's just get nice and comfy. Maybe closing your eyes, relaxing your shoulders, just taking some nice deep inhales and exhales. Getting in touch with your breath. Letting all the thoughts of chaos leave your mind. If you have a thought, allow it to enter and pass on through. Let's keep our inhales and exhales through the nostrils. And while you're breathing, I'd like to share with you if you seem to be suffering um, from being sluggish, um, don't seem to have energy, just too, maybe even depressed, then I would advise you to plug the left nostril. Try breathing through that right nostril. And if you feel anxious, jittery, really just too energetic in the right nostril and breathe through the left. Ultimately, we want to have both nostrils equally flowing. That never really happens, but if you're feeling too down, then this side of the Eda side of the body um, is, which is, um, we say guided by the moon and the right side, the pingala, which is guided by the sun. And this one is the more energetic, the masculine energy. And this one is the calmer feminine energy. So just keep that in mind while you're breathing. And at this time, you can leave your hands where they are or bring your hands in front of your beautiful heart. And we will set our intention for this class and for the rest of your day. An intention can be a word, prayer, scripture, mantra, something you're bringing into your life or something you're sending out. So at this time, let's set our intention. After you've set your intention, let's seal that intention with an audible exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> Sending that intention out into the universe and making it happen. If your eyes are closed, you can flutter them open. If you're lying down, come up to seated and just find a comfortable seat, whatever that may look like for you. If you were hips on heels, Let's go to easy pose. Maybe if you're easy pose, go to hips on heels. Just changing it up a little bit. And once you find your comfortable posture, let's start with a nice warm up head to toe. So on the inhale, let's lift that chin to the sky. And on the exhale, bring that chin to your chest. Inhale up 
and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. One more. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's bring it back to neutral. Let's try the same seg sequence looking left on the inhale, keeping the shoulder and everything below nice and level. And exhale, look right. Inhale left and exhale right. Inhale left and exhale right. One more. Inhale left and exhale right. And bring it back to center. Shake it out a little bit. All right. Let's bring those hands out in front. Make tuck our thumbs and our fingers. Make some nice fists. And let's just do some little circles in both directions, waking up your wrists. Maybe pulling down, pushing down on your wrists. Or pulling back. And now let's bring our both arms out and bring the cross this left one and then bring the right one up under it. Stretching that shoulder. Breathing as you stretch. And bring it back. And now we're gonna cross this left one under the right, stretching that shoulder. Maybe looking at, towards the shoulder. And release it down, shake it out. All right, let's just place our hands on our knees. And we're just gonna start with on the inhale, tucking the chin, rounding the spine, coming back. And then on the exhale, opening the chest and chin up, shoulders back. Just flowing, inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Now let's just make some gentle circles, moving from the left and around on the inhale and exhaling back, kind of incorporating those same movements, rounding back chest out in the front. Inhale in the front and exhale in the back. And let's do one more this direction and then reverse it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. our hands down beside our hips and let's bring that right arm up parallel to the ear walking the left fingers out bending into that left elbow and bending over allowing both sits bones to stay grounded on the mat and if you're on hips on heels again both thighs staying right on the mat because you have the intention to want to lift that up Bending into it. And instead of rounding down, let's open our chest out. Holding here. Just a few more breaths. And now let's come up. Bringing that left arm up. Dropping the right hand down. Walking those fingers out. 
And let's bend into that right elbow with the same intention, keeping those sits bones ground down, our chest open as we stretch that left oblique and we contract on the right. Holding there, breathing, breathing. And we'll come back up, release it down. Let's shake out our shoulders. Fantastic. Okay, now let's lift both arms up parallel to the ear and keeping our chest open and our chin up. Let's hinge forward as far as comfortable for you with keeping both of your sits bones ground down. Once you've reached your edge, bring those hands to the floor or your mat and then you can Tuck your chin around your spine. And bring it back up. And let's release these hands down. And if you have um, your left leg in front, let's bring the right one in front now. And inhaling those arms up. Again, hinging forward with that chest open and that chin up. And once you find your level, drop those hands round the spine, drop the chin. different. Some will be very wide, some will be narrow. I have these baggy pants. I don't know if you can really see my legs or feet, but I was just feeling these pants today. So, all right, let's place our hands back by our hips. Again, opening our chest. This entire practice, we want our chest open and chin up. We're trying to contract those extended back muscles that we have and trying to lengthen our chest muscles, which in today's society, all of our chest muscles are shortened and our back muscles are lengthened. So keeping a nice straight posture, let's just do some point with our toes and flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Now let's hold in the point. Breathing one, two, and three. All right, now let's flex for one. two, and three. Okay, relax and shake it. Now let's bring our right heel into our body, leaving the left leg extended out, and maybe resituating so that you feel nice and grounded. And the bent right leg, we are going to inhale that right arm up to the right ear. This left hand, can either slide down the leg, or if it's in your practice, just cross your body and your lower abdomen. And we're going to lean over just as we have been doing, working those obliques, extending that right oblique and contracting that left oblique, opening that chest. Just some nice gentle stretches. hand down. Let's switch, bringing the left heel in and extending the right leg. Resituating, getting your grounding, 
placing your hands by your hips. Let's inhale that left arm up by the left ear and the left hand can either slide down the leg or if it's in your practice, cross over your lower abdomen and then lean into that. Again, opening our chest, looking up. make our way to our tabletop or neutral position. In our tabletop, we would like for our hip, knee, and our ankle to all be in a 90 degree alignment. We would like our wrist, elbow, and shoulder to all be in a straight line, engaging our fingers like spider legs so that the wrists don't take the brunt of the weight. Now that we're here, Let's just look through our legs. If you can see your toes, move them out a little so that you don't see them. And let's just get the feel of this. Like maybe leaning forward and then bringing our hips to our heels. Just flowing back and forth here. Do one more flow and then we'll meet back in our neutral. Awesome. Okay, let's start with some cat cows in this position. So we'll start with our cow by inhaling, dropping our belly, lifting our tailbone, lifting our chin, coming into cow. And then on the exhale, let's drop that tailbone, drop that chin around the spine. And inhale back. And exhale down. Inhale cow. And exhale cat. And inhale cow. And exhale cat. One more. Inhale cow, and exhale cat, and we'll come back to neutral and shake it out. Now let's go into spinal balance. And on spinal balance, we want to bring this right hand, inhale this parallel to our ear, kick that left foot back, leaving the toe on the mat, and then lift it off of the mat being in a very straight line with our spine, as if someone's pulling on that middle finger of the right hand and pulling the middle toe of the left foot, engaging those fingers on that left hand, breathing into it, straightening our spine, showing our spine lots of love, one more breath, and release it down and shake it out. Okay, now we're going to try that on the left. So we'll gently inhale that left arm parallel to our ear and kick that right foot back. And now lift that toe off, stretching that left arm forward and that right leg back, engaging your fingers on that right hand. Breathing. Out of both nostrils, hopefully. For everyone who was high strung, maybe you're feeling calmer. For those that were feeling lifeless, maybe you feel more energetic. And release it down and shake it out. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna try a little flow with the spinal balance. So let's inhale that right arm forward and the left leg back, getting your spinal balance, taking a breath, 
Now on our next inhale, let's bring that right elbow and meet it at our left knee, under our belly. And then exhale back to spinal balance. Inhale, in, exhale, spinal balance. And inhale, knee to elbow. And exhale, spinal balance. One more. Inhale, knee to elbow. And exhale out to spinal balance. And release it down, shake it out. Okay, let's try that on the left. By gently inhaling that left arm forward and getting that right leg back up there into your spinal balance. Engaging those fingers on the right hand. Getting your breath. Now on the next inhale, let's bring that left elbow into the right knee. And exhale out. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale that elbow to knee. Exhale out. And release it down. Shake it out. Let's bring our knees wide and our toes together and come back into our child's pose. Stretching your arms out as far as you can, bringing that forehead to the mat, your hips to your heels. And of course, if this is difficult, you can always use props. You can use a block for your forehead. You can use a block between your hips and heels. And if stretching your shoulders in this method is too much, you can always do prayer or bring your hands totally down by your feet, relaxing your shoulders, coming back to your breath and back to your intention. Now at any time during the practice, if you need a break, feel free to go to child's pose and get a drink, whatever you need. Remember, it's your practice. Okay. Now let's come back up to neutral and we are going to tuck our toes and we're gonna come up into our down dog and just try to work those heels towards the mat. Your heels may not reach the mat, which that's fantastic. It's your practice, your body. Let's just alternate lifting heels, walking your dog. Stretching the backs of those calves, your hamstrings. Strengthening that upper body. back to neutral now and now we're going to do a nice hip opener so we're going to lift this right leg up high and we're going to look under our right armpit you may bend your knee your version and if you want to take this a little deeper let's lift our heel up off the mat and then bring it down inhale up and exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now release that right leg down and walk it out. And now let's try, try the same thing on the left. Inhaling that left leg up high, looking under that left armpit. You may bend your knee. It's your practice. You know what works best for you. Just looking under that elbow, I mean that, that shoulder. Armpit, yes, armpit. <laughs> and maybe lifting that right heel up off the ground. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhale up and exhale down. Now let's drop that and walk it out again. Awesome. How you feeling? Okay. Now on our next inhale, let's just lift both heels up and come forward to plank. 
and your plank may look just like this, but you're welcome to drop your knees to the mat if that's where your practice is. But just getting the feel of plank. And then inhale back to down dog. Let's just flow here from plank to down dog. Just getting the feel of it. And we'll flow one more time and then we'll come to our plank. And in our plank, let's drop our left knee. And if you have both knees dropped, extend the right foot with the toes curled. Get in your posture, get in your breath. And now we're just gonna roll our feet out to the left, lifting that right hand up to the sky. Opening your chest. And this is a supported side plank. Breathing here. With every breath, maybe you stretch a little higher. And let's come back, bringing that right knee down, extending the left leg out with the left toes curled. And now we're gonna roll to the right and bring that left hand up so that you're reaching to the sky with that left hand, opening that chest, letting a big amount of air in and out of your body. And let's bring that left hand down, coming back to your plank. And now, if you want to try, you can do just what we did. Or if you want to try full plank, let's just raise both knees. And then we'll just roll those feet over, lifting that right hand up into the side plank, full side plank. And it may be in your practice to lift the leg, or you can keep it down. And let's roll back to plank. And now we're gonna lift the left and roll those feet to the left. Again, if you need to keep the knee down, just like we did the first time, that's awesome. And roll back, and here we are in plank. Now let's do a chaturanga, just lowering down, keeping these elbows in towards our body, bringing your body down to the mat. And then let's just scoop forward up into an up dog. And if this is too much, when you scoop forward, you can bring your forearms to the mat and just do a baby cobra. Or you can be here, this is cobra, or the full up dog. And when we're in our up dog, let's try to bring our shoulders away from our ears. And let's just experience this. Looking over our right shoulder and forward and looking over our left shoulder and forward and coming back down to the mat, resting your body on the mat, tucking those toes and coming back up into your down dog. Awesome. Now on our next inhale, let's just gently lift this right foot up into a three-legged dog, bringing that knee into our chest, and then we'll bring it up, that foot in front of our mat, and place our hands on either side of it. Once you've gotten there, and you've gotten your grounding, your back foot is in a runner's lunge, we're gonna drop that left knee, and it's up to you, you can keep those back toes curl, or let the top of the foot be on the mat. Once you're here, let's come up. You've gotten your grounding. Let's place our hands here. Take a breath. And then once you've gotten your grounding, bring the hands down. I call these sun hands because this is a, um, a posture in the sun, Hatha sun salutation. So let's bring our sun hands here. And then if it's in your practice, we can interlace our fingers behind 
or back. You can just place your hands behind your back or keep them in sun hands. You know your body, so just bring them back, opening that chest, and now we're gonna really lean into that front right bent knee, opening this whole hip, opening your chest, chin up, maybe a little upper thoracic bend. And let's come back up out of the hip, bring the hands back to sun hands, and now let's bend forward again, bringing those hands up into a crescent lunge. Breathing into it. And bring those hands back down to the mat. And now let's tuck that left back toe if it's untucked. Um, pop the knee up. And we have our hands now on either side of the foot. Now first, let's see what it feels like to bring this right hand. We have our right foot up front. So your right hand, let's lift that up just like we did in our plank. And our knee should be up off the mat if possible. If you need to leave it down, fantastic. But we want to work towards having it up. Opening that chest, getting the most out of your stretch. And bring it, the hand back down. Now let's place that hand on the inside of that right foot and just push with that right arm and shoulder, pushing out on that left leg, leaning into that. And if your practice allows, you may come down to your forearms on this. Some people may even bind around the, the foot. Just feeling that stretch as we open that hip. And now let's come up, frame the foot, and we're gonna gently bring that right foot back to meet the left and walk it out a little bit in our dog. Now let's gently lift that left leg to it with a squared hip, bringing that knee into our chest and then placing that left foot up between our palms, getting your grounding, your stability. And once you're there, drop that right knee and it's up to you, you can tuck the toe or untuck it. Once you've gotten your stability, come up. If you feel good here, let's bring those sun hands. Again, our posture nice and straight shoulders back and down and then if it's in your practice you can bring your hands back or interlace your fingers into horse riding pose ashwa sanchalanasana and then we'll lean forward breathing into it opening that left hip and anytime you're doing a practice like this that where our knee is on the mat if you need a blanket or an extra mat, a pillow, anything like that, please um, use that for your knee. We don't want any pain. And now let's come up. And if you have your hands interlaced, release them. Back to our sun hands. And now we're gonna bring our hands up into crescent lunge. And go forward, really opening that hip. Coming back to your breath and back to your intention. One more breath here. And then we'll release our hands down on each side of the foot. And let's tuck that right toe, lift that right knee. And now we have our left foot on the mat. So we're gonna see how it feels. Let me see here, yeah. To lift that left arm. Sorry, I had a little catch in this side. I had to, to lift that left arm. Your right foot's extended long. Ooh. 
reaching tall, lean back into that hip. One more breath here. And we'll bring that hand back down. Let's bring it on the inside of your foot now. And push out with that left shoulder and that left arm. Push out on that left leg, really opening that hip. And again, this may be where you say you can leave your knee down if you need to. Um, if you're up and you want to try a little deeper, you can come down to your forearms, maybe doing a prayer. Some people may take the left hand and bind it around. Your practice, your version. And let's come back up, bringing that hand on each side of the foot, and then gently lifting that left foot up, coming back to your down dog, dropping your knees wide, bringing your toes together, and coming back to your child's pose. Taking a break, getting a drink if you need it, coming back to your breath, back to your intention. back up and we'll grab our strap. Bringing our feet out in front of us. Let's place this strap around both feet and just gently raise them up, bringing the elbows in towards our body and just breathing here. Now let's straighten our legs out if we can into a boat with a, that's assisted by the strap. And inhale, bring the knees into your chest. Exhale, out to full boat. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, three, and exhale. Inhale, four, and exhale. Inhale, five, and exhale. Inhale, six, and exhale. And my favorite number, inhale, seven, exhale. Let's hold here. See if you might be able to drop the strap and hold here. Engaging those abs. And if you need to bend back, bend back. If you need the strap, fantastic. Breathing here. And drop it down and shake it out. Okay. Now we're going to come down on our spines with our strap. And we're going to bring this strap into under our right foot. And then let's just let this left leg fall out long. And again, we'll, we'll bring this close to our body. Our elbows may be resting on our ribs. And bring that foot up, just whatever, something comfortable, not harsh. And then on the inhale, we're going to bring our toes to our nose. And then release it out on the exhale to a comfortable level. Inhale, toes to nose. And exhale out. And inhale, three. Toes to nose, and exhale. Inhale, four, and toes to nose, and out. And now inhale, five, let's hold here. Maybe with each breath, pulling those toes a little closer to your nose. For one, two, three, Pulling closer each time. Four. And five. Okay, release it down. And take the belt off of the right. Shake it out. And 
and let's bring our left up. Placing that strap around the small of the left foot, letting that right foot fall out long, and bring our elbows to near our ribs. Just bringing the foot up. However, you're, this may be where you are today. Wherever is comfortable, not, not to your edge, just a nice comfortable elevation. And just take a breath here. Now on our next inhale, let's bring those toes to our nose. And exhale back to comfort. And toes to nose. And back to comfort. And three toes to nose. And back to comfort. And four toes to nose. And back to comfort. And five, let's hold here, toes to nose for five breaths. Two, three, maybe pulling a little closer with each inhale and exhale. Four, and five. Okay, let's release it down. Shake it out. All right. Now we're going to bring the right foot up again in the strap. And we've, we've done this a lot in a lot of our segments. So just bringing that strap in the um, right hand with the right foot up. Let this left leg just fall out long. And let's let our left arm come out to a T. Just breathe here for a couple breaths. Getting our grounding. Now let's let that right leg fall out and the right strap fall out to the right. Letting that hip open. And while we're here, maybe with each breath, you can pull those toes up closer to the sh um, shoulder of the right side. Or, or deeper to the ground. Maybe looking to the left where you have your left arm extended out. Now let's gently bring that strap back up bringing it into the left hand, letting that right arm fall out to a T. Let's gently let that right leg fall to the left as we look to the right. And when we're on this side, again, you can, with each breath, tug on that strap. But it's important that both shoulders remain on the mat, on this posture. And looking to the right. And now let's make our way back up, releasing our foot out of that strap, shaking it out. And now let's do the same thing, bringing that strap around our left foot high, bringing the strap in the left hand, letting that right leg lay long, bringing your right hand out to a T. And then let's gently let that left leg and left hand fall out to the left, and look to your right. Maybe with each breath, tugging that foot a little closer to that left shoulder, and maybe a little deeper towards the, the floor or the mat. Let's gently bring that back up to center, bringing that strap into your left hand, letting that right hand, letting that left hand fall out to the T, 
and then gently letting that left leg fall to the right as you look to the left. grab that block and we're going to place it under the small of our back just wherever it feels comfortable you might want to straighten your legs just make sure that you can kind of roll back and forth and that it feels comfortable for you and once you've gotten that then we're going to just bring our feet to the mat with the knees up and on the next inhale we're going to gently lift our buttocks and our pelvis up off of the block, keeping both shoulders on the mat and try and keep the knees in because they'll want to flail out. Keep them in if you can. And with each breath, let's try to lift the pelvis a little higher. Breathing. One more breath. And we'll gently lower back down to the block. Take a breath here. And now on the next inhale, let's slowly lift back up. Maybe taking it a little deeper this time. Lifting a little higher. You may want to even try to bring your hands under your hips and interlace your fingers. Again, trying not to let the, the knees fall out, bring them in. And let's lower back down to that block, bringing your hands out of the way. And hug those knees into your chest, keeping that block there on your lower sacrum. Hug and breathe here. Awesome. Okay. Now let's lift our legs up to 90 degrees. Legs up the wall. Maybe flexing your feet, pointing them. Seeing how it feels up through the back of your legs. relax here, letting this block massage our sacrum, our lower spine. Many of you are in your homes and you could actually put your legs up against the wall. But if you don't have a wall or a piece of furniture, this is an awesome alternative. I'm just breathing here. This asana is so good for our circulation our veins, our arteries, our digestive health, our reproductive health, our heart health, and our brain health. So after I rattle all of that, you think, why am I not doing this? Yes, why are you not doing this? Every day, this would be good to do every day for 20 minutes. Also very relaxing, helping you to feel more even. We'll take one more breath here. And we'll bring our knees in, hugging them tight to our chest. dropping our feet back to the mat 
Let's gently lift up and remove the block. Set it out of our way. And now let's just maybe bring both arms out to T and just windshield wiper our legs from side to side. Massaging our lower spine. back to neutral and then bringing them up into a happy baby grabbing the outsides of your feet pushing with your feet pulling with your hands and rocking if it's in your practice your practice may allow you to bring your feet together or you may extend one long and then extend the other long your version of happy baby just massaging your sacrum. And we'll bring our feet back down. And at this time, I invite you to do any stretch that you may need. You feel that your body would like today. And then we'll meet up in Savasana. When you're in your Savasana, Let's lay all the way down, lifting up, tucking those shoulder blades, and then letting each vertebrae melt into the mat. And it's up to you. If you want grounding, place the palms down. If you want a blessing or receiving, place your palms up. And just come back to your breath, being one with your breath. giving your body a nice workout with these asanas and alongside using your breath work allowing all that energy to come into your body and go wherever it may need to what organs muscles nerves wherever you need it and hopefully that air is coming in there and cleansing and then you just send it out with the toxins so please just Let's do a body check now that you're lying in Savasana. We'll start by relaxing the top of your head. If I were there, I would give you a nice, tight massage, gripping the top of your skull. You may, it may feel good for you to do it to yourself. This Massaging that skull as you lay there. And relaxing your temples. Relaxing your ears. And your eyes. Unclenching your jaw. Relaxing your mouth, your chin, your throat. Allowing your shoulders to be heavy on the mat. And allowing each vertebrae to surrender to the mat. As your hips become heavy on the mat. your legs become heavy and your feet are totally relaxed as you relax your entire body just being aware of your breath your body is surrendering to the mat. In the state of total relaxation, as you breathe in 
and out. Feeling the rise and the fall of your thoracic region as you inhale fully and exhale fully. Now let's slowly bring our awareness back to the room, back to your mat, as you wiggle some fingers, wiggle your toes. Maybe you feel like a full body stretch, reaching those arms overhead. You may stay right where you are, or you may feel like turning to one side into fetal position. Grabbing a couple more breaths here. And now we're going to make our way up slowly to a comfortable seat. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Okay, let's give ourselves one last boost of energy. Rubbing those palms, feeling that heat between the palms. And then bringing those palms over your eyes, cupping your eyes. If your eyes are closed, you can open your eyes. Bring that all down your face, your neck, your entire body, anywhere you need that healing touch. And bring your palms back up. Awesome. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today. You are so worth it. It's been my privilege and honor to guide you through this practice. As always, Keep loving and living. Namaste.